Hi everybody, this is the first video in a series of videos about creating a 3D star chart. Um, we're going to be we're going to be importing a, a large database of stars and their positions and various other things about them. For example, uh, their colors are, 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 are a, a representation of how hot they are um, and things like that. So we'll, we'll be having a lot of fun with this sort of stuff. Now you might notice it looks a lot like a regular a regular star chart, but as I start to move around, because we're in augmented reality, you can sort of see this uh, this parallax effect. You know, the the we can see that some stars are closer than other stars, and and they're bigger because of that. Um, and this this particular this particular uh, constellation system, this is a Burong constellation system. This is a a Burong tribe is a tribe in Australia. They're very well-known stargazers. They have lots of stories for each of their each of their constellations, and and we can see some really awesome stuff in, in 3D. For example, right here we have the the uh, the Berm 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 Glare constellation system, and and right right here is the Alpha Centauri system. Is and we can see how close it is, and and what it, what sort of uh, what this constellation looks like from from a star inside it, and that sort of thing. And and like and there's really really awesome stuff we can do. For example, if I take a few steps back, then right here we have the sun. And so I can say if I know that uh, one meter is one parsec, or a one parsec being about about three light years, I can say in okay in about one meter, one point or one and a half or something like that, I can figure out how far away Alpha Centauri is just by walking to it. You know. Um, there's some really, yeah, it's a really fun way of exploring the, uh, the, the galaxy. And I'm going to show you a few other things. For example, we can obviously scale it, up, scale it down. So now this is, uh, this is 16,000 parsecs to a meter. Um, and so this is, this is sort of like all, all, the, all the stars that we have in this database. And you'll notice that they, they are cut off at about 1,000 parsecs is the, is the outer limit. And and we can see uh, we can see some really nice really nice really nice patterns here like just slightly we can a bit of a ring in the in the middle of it right now now this is a this is a sort of effect that you get from a a a, a pancake shaped galaxy in that in that there's much more density of stars along a certain in a certain ring and and there's there's fewer around around the sides so it's a, this is a sort of awesome effect we can get from from so much data being collected by, by astronomers and radio astronomers. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and scale it scale it back scale it back down. It's a one parsec per meter again, and here we have the sun at the origin. And now I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you a few more a few more constellations. Here we have the the Western or modern constellation system, and of of course there we have uh, in the Centaurus system, our friend Alpha Centauri. And uh, this is a very this is a very co common common constellation system. It's used by astronomers a lot to to locate something in the sky. They can say, oh, it must be in the Mensa constellation or, or this sort of thing. There's there's a constellation for each part of the night sky. Yeah, and there, I believe there's 88 in total. Of course, we also have the zodiac constellation. Uh, the, these 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 constellations being a part of the a part of the the modern constellation system. Now, oh, if I start looking at the roof, there's not enough feature points for the AR system to get it. I'll try looking at the ground instead. Uh, now, this the interesting thing about the zodiac the zodiac is there that line that it's showing. Now, that's the that's the line that the sun and the planets and the moon will. That's the axes that they'll sort of. A revolve around, or Earth will revolve around with them. Um, yeah, so so yeah, again, another really fun way of looking at it. Of course, if I bring the bring the scale up a bit, we can start to see that parallax effect. For example, in the in the Pisces system, you know which which stars are in front of others, etc. There's a, there's a few other interesting things we can do with this with this particular particular database we'll be using. It's called the HYG da database. And they've done some really nice calculations for us. Uh, for instance, they've they've calculated the velocity of each of each star, um, and, which gives us the direction and the speed of, of each you know of, of all the stars. So, for example, if I go ahead and change these years per second to, I'm changing it to about five thousand years per second. 
and I hit play, we're going to see slowly how, how, the, how, our, how our galaxy will, will change over time. Now I can I can speed that up and we can we can see okay so now now this is about 150,000 years in the future I might change that time uh, sorry that distance scale back down to one parsec per second can we call, yeah it's, it's quite a nice quite a nice nice fun thing to do um, yeah so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna jump right in we're gonna start. Start playing around with the databases, with the data. Um, see what I'm just gonna, I'm just going to reset this, reset this again. Uh, with the data, see what we can do with it. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this one.